Hi there, I'm Jo McDonald from Move Through Life Dance Studio. Today I'm going to give you a series of stretches that I like to use at the end of a class as part of my cool down. And also there are great exercises to do for just a daily stretch. Uh, if you did these stretches every day, you would just find that you have more mobility and um, less likely to be sustaining any injuries. So let's get on to it. There are two muscles in your calf. One of them is the gastronemius and one is the soleus. The gastronemius is stretched when you have a straight leg and the soleus is stretched when you have a bent leg. So I'm offering two different stretches here to get each of those muscles. Start by getting our calf muscles warm. This is facing the bar, you can use a chair. Stretching back into a calf stretch. Making sure that your feet are parallel, particularly the back foot. Sometimes you might be tempted to turn it out like that. You won't get the full stretch. Once we've completed that one on both legs, that stretches one of our calf muscles, but we actually have two different muscles in our calves. So to get the second one, take your feet back, not too far, and bend both legs. Again, being sure to keep your knee over your feet and they're in parallel. And then doing the other foot. The muscles on the front of your thigh are the quadriceps. You might have heard them referred to as the quads. And it's a group of muscles. The four main ones are the rectus femoris, vastus intermedius, vastus lateralis, and vastus medialis. They are all involved in extending the knee joint, in other words, straightening the leg. And the rectus femoris, which is the one that covers the centre of your thigh and actually covers the other three, is also involved in flexing the hip or lifting the leg. So if you can't grab your foot, you can use um, a tie or a stocking or anything that you can use to wrap around your foot so you can hold it. Aim to keep your knees together so you don't put unnecessary strain on your knees. And tilt your pelvis slightly forward, you'll feel an increased stretch in your quadricep and the other side. Now, if you want to get even more stretch, you can start to lift it out. But you can also increase that stretch quite a lot through the use of the pelvis tilting forward. The gluteal muscles are those in your butt. There are three of them the gluteus maximus, medius, and minimus. The stretch I'm about to show you works primarily on the gluteus maximus, which does a lot of heavy lifting. It's responsible for extending the hip, for example, when you stand up from a sitting or squat position. It also laterally rotates the hip, such as when you turn out your leg, and it extends the torso. For example, when you move from a forward bend to standing straight. To stretch out this muscle, we want to do the opposite movement. In other words, Flex the hips by lifting the legs and leaning forward. Place one leg across the top of the other one. Make sure you're far enough away from your chair or bar. Bend your legs, it's like you're sitting. And this will stretch out your gluteal muscles. The further back you sit, the greater the stretch, and you also get a stretch in your back. One of the most important muscle pairs in hip flexion that is lifting the leg or bending the leg at the hip, is the iliopsoas. It is actually made up of two muscles, the psoas major in, and the iliacus. It is really important in standing, walking and running. And apart from helping work towards the holy grail of stretches, the splits, stretching the iliopsoas can help avoid or alleviate certain pain in the low or mid back, the hip, thigh, groin, knee or any combination. The stretch I'm about to show you also works into the groin muscles and I'll tell you a little bit more about them in a minute. Place your foot on your bar or chair. If you have a chair and you can't get your leg up quite high enough, you put it on the front of the chair. And then you just push forward, keeping your legs parallel, but we're not turning out at all at this stage. The closer you are to the bar, the greater the stretch you can get. If I were to shuffle back, I might not be able to hold on to it, but at least I can do that stretch and push forward. I'm aiming to get a straight line from this knee to this foot. Your hamstrings are the muscles at the back of the upper thigh. They're actually made up of three muscles, 
the biceps femoris, semitendinosus, and semimembranosus. The hamstrings flex, that is bend, the knee, and they also extend, which is to straighten the hip. If you have short hamstrings, for example, you'll have trouble touching your toes while keeping your legs straight. Now I'm going to work into my hamstrings. So I have a straight leg here. Again, I'm still parallel. I'm going to reach forward, try and keep my back straight. So I don't want to just hunch over. So if I can't quite reach, that's okay. I'm just going to stretch forward. And I want to try and lay down along my neck. I'll change to the other foot. Again, taking that stretch. Now, you can get extra work in your hamstrings by turning your leg out. I also like to do a little twist before I start. I feel like there's a little muscle that gets hitched there. So I just do that to release that. And then again, reach forward. I can now feel that stretch all the way down the outside of my leg in the ITB muscle. Once I've done that one, rotating it inwards. Again, that stretch is a different place. I can also increase that stretch by putting it across my body and reaching my hands the other way. Again, on the other leg, I do a rotated version and an inwardly rotated version. The groin is technically the junction between the abdomen and the thigh, and it's made up of the hip adductor muscles. Adduction is the movement of a body part towards the body's midline. So when your legs are apart and you bring them together, this is hip adduction. The hip adductors include the adductor brevis, adductor longus, adductor magnus, gracilis and pectinus. I'm now going to turn out sideways to my bar or chair. You need to make sure that your leg is not necessarily sideways to your body. It makes your leg rotate in and your hip lift up. I'm going to take it slightly forward, wherever we need to do to be able to get the knee on, hot, on top and rotate the leg down so this hip comes downwards. We don't want it lifted. You can just hold it there if you like. Taking a sideways stretch increases not only the stretch here in the inner thigh, but also outside of my back. If you want to increase your flexibility, these stretches can help. Um, you would need to be holding each stretch probably for at least 30 seconds. Again, I would be doing that for either my cool down or for uh, just the daily mobility stretch or for the flexibility stretch. And in each stretch, I like to exhale as I'm holding the stretch so that I release any unnecessary muscle tension. What you find is that if you're holding your breath, there will be this kind of resistance in some of your muscles that will stop you from really releasing that stretch. And when you exhale and relax, you'll find you can move a lot further. I hope you've enjoyed this short instructional video from Move Through Life Dance Studio. You can find out more about us and what we do and what we can do for you at mtl-dancestudio.com.au or give me a call. I'm Jo, my number is 0402 070 021 or drop me an email, jo at mtl-dancestudio.com.au. I hope that we can see you at a class soon and give you a helping hand on your journey to dance throughout your life. And I hope that you can dance forever.